And now, please welcome with me on stage, Bruce Millers. Hey, great to be here. Thank you. Thank you for coming. So, Bruce Millers, he's the coordinator of the Beyond Pole campaign in the U.S. And I heard a quote from you, Bruce, saying that it's an opportunity that the largest coal reserves are in the U.S. in your home country. How can that be an opportunity? Good afternoon, Utah. It is a huge opportunity because if we don't solve, if the U.S. doesn't keep its coal underground and out of world markets, we can't solve this climate crisis. And so the work we're doing in the United States to phase out all the coal plants and keep our U.S. coal on the ground is mission critical. Thank you. If you listen to our president, who speaks probably a little too much, you will have heard him say that we want to go in the wrong direction, that the U.S. will pull out of the Paris Accord, that the U.S. will roll back all the progress we made under President Obama, and that the U.S. will bring back coal. And our message to you today is not so fast, Mr. President, not so fast. the leaders will follow. When the people lead, the people will follow. Since Donald Trump took office, we've been making more progress and doing this faster than under the prior president. Since Donald Trump took office one long year ago, we have retired or secured the retirement of 41 coal plants. Done. And last month, in Texas, one of our most conservative states in the entire country, three giant coal plants that used to burn lignite, much like here in Germany, announced their retiring because they couldn't compete against wind power. So, I want to share with all of you Ignore what our president says about climate change and going backwards. Because last month we hit a major milestone in our progress in the United States. A citizen-led, community-led effort to phase out all the coal plants. Last month, we got to halfway. Last month, we hit 263 coal plants since 2010 that are now retired or announced to retire and being replaced with clean energy. We are halfway done. real honor to be here and this is a very beautiful sight. I'm also here because two days ago many of you and your uh, organizations represented here launched a very exciting campaign to phase out all the coal plants across all 28 countries here in the, in the European Union. The European Beyond Coal campaign launched two days ago and now on both sides of the Atlantic there is a citizen-led movement to say we are done with coal. Germany. But Germany is important for two reasons. One, it's a lot of carbon from all that coal burning. But secondly, Germany has a long history of doing these transition right, of showcasing how, when there's industrial transition, the workers in the community are treated fairly. So it is mission critical that as you accelerate and push your leaders to phase out coal in Germany, and we begin this for all fossil fuels, not just coal, that Germany showcases how we do this right. How do workers in the communities impacted by this transition come out of the other end? And it's a shiny example how we're going to do this, not just in Germany, but across Europe and around the globe, and not just with coal, but with coal, oil, and gas. Thank you so very much.
erzählt hast, dass es noch Erfolge in den USA gibt, dass auch tatsächlich Kohlekraftwerke in den USA abgeschaltet werden, weil dort auch die Klimagerechtigkeitsbewegung so stark ist. Und danke auch, dass du uns daran erinnert hast, was für eine wichtige Rolle der Kohleausstieg in Deutschland spielt.